got it. Well, I'm losing my voice, so I'm sorry about that. But we're picking out our pumpkins and we're picking out one to carve and one that we're gonna cook dinner in because every year we cook dinner inside a pumpkin. So that's what we gotta get. Oh, and the kids need little ones to paint. I can find little ones. You want a little pumpkin? Yeah. Okay, well, I think those are inside. This one is great. Does it sound yummy? Yep. All right, well, Isaac found the perfect carving one right there. That's perfect. You like it? Yeah. We're still on the hunt for the one that we're going to eat for dinner. It has to be just the right size so it fits in our oven and fits our dinner. What did you find? A little pumpkin. You got a little pumpkin? I'm going to taste it. You're going to taste it? Yeah. I got a honeydew. Jeremy and I have a tradition of carving a honeydew melon on Halloween, so we gotta do that. It's steamy! It's yeah. so cold it'll burn you. Yep. Gotta be careful. Some pumpkins too. Yeah? So today at the store, pomegranates were on sale. And I love like getting a new fruit or vegetable and trying it with the kids. I've had pomegranate before and Jeremy has, but I don't know if you guys have. Have you guys, have you guys ever had pomegranate? No, I've never heard of one. It's a good poll question for today. Let us know in the poll if you have had pomegranate. I the name of pomegranate, but I've never seen one. Well, this is a pomegranate. You wanna feel it? What do you think it, it looks like on the inside? Um, kind of like a grapefruit. A grapefruit? Okay, what do you think Elise? What do you think it looks like inside? There's a big seed inside. Mm, one big seed? Like inside of here. Mm -hmm. I think it probably looks like yellow. Yellow? Maybe like an apple? Let's see what Laura thinks. Laura, what's going to be inside the pomegranate? Uh, a dog. A dog? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she, she may be disappointed. Be disappointed. <laughs> Jeremy watched a YouTube video I about a couple different how ones. to cut a pomegranate. There's a couple different ways to do it, but I'm gonna give this a try. Whoa! What? Is that? The fruit is each of these little seeds What's surrounded all by that yellow stuff. That's just like the pulp. It looked like ice cream to me. The pulp. Did it? I'm all right. Try. Hmm. Let me try one. It is kind of crunchy. It's not my favorite. I really like give it. A it. Try, it's a Cub. very unique fruit. Laura's gonna give it a try. Wait, this is it young? I don't know one. You can eat them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So the inside of a pomegranate to me looks a little bit like corn. Um, you know, like these bright, vibrant, reddish purple corn kernels. Whoa! Wow, it kind of grows like a citrus in like wedges. That's the most gorgeous color. It looks like a crystal. It's shiny, isn't it? Do you want one? Yeah, I do want to try one. So my favorite way to eat pomegranate seeds is in a salad. Do you want another one? Who wants a bowl full of pomegranate? Me. Is that actually going to cut the carpet? He's cutting the carpet. So especially with how much Caleb loves building, we just thought this was such a good educational opportunity to watch and learn and see how you build a wall. Whoa! What do you guys think is under the carpet? Wow. Can we feel it? So that's what makes it. Yeah, go soft. ahead, feel it real quick. That's, that's what makes it, feels, it soft. Yeah. It feels really soft. Uh, yeah. yeah. And right here, it feels really hard. 
down. Yep, there. look underneath. No. That's just, it's That's just like cool. the garage. Yeah, it's like the nice. concrete vent padding and then the carpet. Yep. But one time in my room, I actually could reach my hand into the bottle and I felt that stuff. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that, but <laughs> we didn't know about that. Looks like a good shaver. Should I use it on my face? No. no we don't cut you. Would it cut my face? Today they want you to use the gun, the nail gun. The ram's head. Like a real bullet, when you put it in a gun, it hits this and makes it explode. And because it explodes, it pushes the nail through the Will wood and into the concrete. Will it actually explode? I see yeah, that. you'll hear it. You a little nervous about the explosion? I'm gonna go outside for it. Yeah, see it wasn't a big explosion. You guys smell that? That smells just like when a gun shoots. You at least wanted to give it a try with the gun. Go ahead. Woo! <laughs> yeah, you did it! <laughs> Right? It's in the walls of our house. Your name is there. Can I go? Yep. Whoa! <laughs> Do you hear that noise? You got it? Drop it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He does. I honestly just can't get enough of this maple tree. It, it's so red, it's so beautiful. It just blows my mind. Pink. Yep, I love maple leaves. It reminds me of when I was in Toronto. Toronto? Yep, it's in Canada. Did you find one? Yes, for my birthday. Happy birthday. So we're putting this room up in the basement for an office for me so that I don't have to work out of our closet anymore. So I'm pretty excited about this. This is great. Yep. I just watched you. We were nervous, like, is it gonna feel big enough? Is it gonna feel too squishy? But I think it's gonna be fun. Oh, look. Yep. Yeah. So I love birds, and right now, this time of year, our backyard is gorgeous with birds. There's lots of blue jays and cardinals and woodpeckers. And I really think woodpeckers are a really cute little bird, but the problem is that there's two of them that have decided to try to think that our house is a tree. So they keep coming up along the wall of the kitchen and doing their little like peck, 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 and I was like, oh, that's kind of funny. And then Jeremy went out, and they're actually like poking a hole in a specific spot in the wood of our house, and we're like, wait, don't do that, little woodpeckers. And so every time I hear the woodpeckers pecking on the side of our house, I come outside, I'm like, hey, hey, get away. So it's just so sad because this like darling cute little bird is kind of becoming a pest and we want to be really nice to the bird, but we don't want the bird to hurt our house. So we're just like, shoo bird, don't peck our house. So I just came out and saw them fly away and I got him for like a second on the camera so you can see the, the culprit that's getting our house. I don't know what to do about it. Well, I'm really excited because I tried online grocery shopping for the very first time today. And anyway, several grocery stores in my area do it and they don't charge a fee. Like as long as you hit a certain amount of groceries, they'll just deliver for free to your house, which is amazing because we have a family of six, like we buy a lot of groceries. So the truck just came up and they carried the groceries all the way in to my table. Like 
I have groceries sitting on this table right now and I didn't have to go to the store. I didn't have to load up my kids in the car. I didn't have to, you know, carry everything in and out of the car. Like, I'm so excited. This is the future, guys. Online grocery shopping. It's the things that like mom's dreams are made of. You getting the measurements, Cub? Yep. Good job. And I'm trying to fix some stuff. For dinner tonight, we are trying a new recipe, which is stuffed orange peppers that you're supposed to carve like little jack-o'-lantern faces in it. I thought it sounded fun, but orange peppers were crazy expensive, so we also have some green and red peppers because that's what works. So now we're gonna try to carve them. Awesome. Like, like this. <laughs> That's awesome. That actually looks like a pumpkin. It looks so cool. It's gonna look really cool with dinner inside of it. All right, now push it through. Boop, boop. Let's grab it. You did it. You got an eyeball. <laughs> He first he has to get alive eventually. Oh, Mom. you think he's gonna get alive eventually? Mm-hmm. First I have to make him a person, and then he'll be alive. Whoa. Whoa. Caleb, that looks really spooky. I don't really like spooky stuff on Halloween that very much, so I just decided to do a smile. I like it, it turned out great. Mm-hmm. I want a binky on that. You want a binky on your jack-o'-lantern? Yeah. I don't know if I'm that skilled. <laughs> I don't know, big girl. Good job holding daddy's hand, helping him. We doing it together? Yeah, could I do it? Here, you hold it. Okay. Here's the hair. Is that the hair for your person's face? Let's see the face. There it is. What do you think? Good. Do you like it? Yeah. Do you want to eat it for dinner? Yes. Here. Good. So I've been realizing today how many of our holiday traditions surround food. And luckily some of it's healthy food, but seriously, like we need some other traditions. What are your favorite holiday traditions that are not food related? Let us know in the comments below and give us some ideas. All right, they're going in the oven. Kind of creepy looking. I took out this. What is that? I don't know. It's the cabinet hinge. So we're getting this cabinet hinge fixed. And Caleb asked me for a job and I said he could take it off and you did it. Can I also put um, I want to screw these back in. You want to put the new ones in? Mm-hmm. I think I have the just right tool. There it is, screwdriver. You are going to earn handyman status at our house, okay? Okay. Will you fix everything for your mama? Mm-hmm. Thanks. They turned out so cool. So you top it with some awesome cheese. Looks good. Yeah, but we have to destroy the face by cutting it in half for the children because well, I don't know if they can eat the whole thing. I think we gotta cut the whole pepper up for it too. Probably. Good night, Jayhouse out. Hello. What are you gonna be? Supergirl. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. 